Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on Shonyu with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CAD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment is testing a quite strong level of monthly demand and support and rejecting it to the upside. In fact, from this level, multiple pushes to the upside have been created. And this was just the last one of multiple rejections that already the market has created away from this zone. Therefore, in a situation like this, we could expect a bit more bullish price action to be created as the market has already done in the past. The nearest level of resistance would be this high here. In fact, during those previous rejections, the market in multiple occasions has stopped exactly this zone. This leaves us with a bit more room for some more short-term bullish price action for the market to go and reach this level once again, as it has already done in the past. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly perspective, the situation is quite clear as well. In fact, we can notice how we clearly had a shift from a weekly bearish market to now a weekly bullish market. In fact, we went from creating lower lows and lower highs to now creating higher highs and higher lows. So in a situation like this, once again, there is a possibility of seeing a potential push higher away from the zone completing this weekly impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and once again printing a new weekly higher high. We can also notice that from a structure perspective, this area is quite important structure. It, it was acting as previous weekly resistance here, again here and again here. The market then broke above that level and all the previous resistance was turned support here. And at the moment, the market is testing exactly that previous weekly resistance turned support. And there is a possibility to see a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. We can also notice how we also have a strong impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements lining up exactly with that previous resistance turn support, therefore creating a confluence of support at this level that we could expect this market to reject to the upside. So both the monthly and weekly timeframes indicate a potential push higher. And it is also important to keep in mind that instead of a confluence of support zone, you would expect to see more institutional longing, which at that point could further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from the zone. Now, speaking about institutional longing, before we go down on the daily time frame first, Let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data and what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they are shifting their orders. Now, if we look at the data for the CAD, it is quite clear how institutions with the last reports have been moving to the bearish side for the CAD, which means to the bullish side for USD CAD. That is because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're looking at the data for the CAD, actually, you are already looking at CAD USD. But since we are analyzing USD CAD, we simply have to reverse everything that we read here. And we can see how we went from minus 800 to now minus 
76,000 net positions. Therefore, we see a huge amount of shorts added on the CAD going from 37.9K all the way up to 112K. And all this shorting on the CAD actually means longing on USD CAD from an institutional perspective because a weakening CAD makes USD CAD stronger. So let's keep that in mind and move back to the technical side of the market. And by the way, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in description, so you never miss new updates. Now back to the analysis. Let's drop down on the daily time frame and see what we have. Now, from a daily perspective, I did speak about USD CAD just a few days ago when the market was around this area and explained all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the upside, which in fact is exactly what the market is doing. And I will link also that in the description so you can go and check it out for more free education however at the moment what we must notice is that the market has broken above daily structure in fact this zone was acting as previous daily resistance here and here and now that previous resistance has been broken to the upside so all that previous resistance is now turned support at this level and we could expect a potential rejection to the upside away from this support. And since institutions already have been adding longs on USD CAD, since we have now strong support at this level, we could expect to see some more institutional shorting of the CAD, meaning institutional longing of USD CAD, which at that point could further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from this level. Therefore, what I would expect in a situation like this, well, as usual, Trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push higher away from this level. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel. And I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.